All right, so uh, we're going to get this painted in ATAX. Uh, we're going to start with our base layer, a khaki. You can go with the sand too if you like that. Uh, I can only find the khaki right now. They seem to be out of the sand. But uh, anyways, you uh, get the tan or the khaki or whatever base layer blocked off the trigger group, which covers the safety, mag well, the adjustment, all that other stuff. Not the safety, I'm sorry, the uh, mag release. Um, safety's up here, that's taped, and then the valley, or the, whatever the trough that it runs in is uh, plugged, and then the action is plugged as well, and the uh, gas relief here is uh, covered. Scope lenses are down, basically everything else is going to get painted. Alright, so the base layer is on. As you can see, it's a khaki color. Sorry, the lighting on my workbench here sucks, but uh, there it is. That's the base coat, my 5 round mag, 10 round mag, all of which getting painted. It's all going to be my attempt at ATAX camo. Alright, so here's kind of the finished product. It's kind of a bastardized version of ATAX. Um, I only had two colors. I think you really need a, a dark, a medium, and then a light brown. But uh, I do like the effect it causes. You just get a sponge, a little paper plate, spray on the plate, dark brown and sand. And if you get too dark in areas, you can actually touch it up uh, with the uh, original base color and uh, kind of gives it a marbleized, rocky, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a lot like the ATAX, just not as uh, detailed, obviously, because uh, obviously you're using a spray can and uh, also using uh, sponges. So, but that's my attempt at it. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoy. It's pretty cool camo. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support.